Hi guys, it's uh, Inem Gavor here with the Samsung Galaxy S2 in black on the left hand side and the Samsung Galaxy S3 in white on the right hand side. We're going to be doing a quick GPS test here using the GPS test application from our Android Play Store uh, to see how these devices compare against each other when trying to locate as many satellites as possible and how quickly they can lock on to each one of those. Okay, just like to point out just before we begin that I'm working indoors here, about a meter or so away from a window, and we're not going to be using any, the aid of any Wi-Fi networks during this test because I don't think it's relevant because you don't always have access to Wi-Fi when you're out and about there. So we're just going to be using the GPS uh, feature itself. So just to show you that both these devices uh, are running Android uh, ice cream sandwich, uh, and the S2 is running version 4.0.3. The S3 is running 4.0.4. Okay, so we'll go ahead, just show you there's no Wi Fi that's on there, there's no power saving that's on. And I'll just also show you what the location services are showing for both these devices. Uh, there we go. As I say, we're not going to be using the, the aid of the Wi Fi networks, just the GPS satellites option and the say, uh, sensor aiding option on both of these which will be good so that's now ticked so what we'll do is we'll get the apps going because uh, the GPS is now on so we'll get the GPS test going there we go on both of these devices now you can see the S2 has already started to lock on uh, or search for a signal the S3 is already locked on there because it's got the the red uh, I'll say red the green circle symbolizing that it's got a GPS lock on a satellite uh, with accurate of 36 feet and if you notice that S2 is just now locked on uh, to a GPS satellite with accuracy of 30 feet um, so that was pretty quick but still behind the S3 just go through what's on the screen here on the S2 you can see six satellites but it's only using five of those Okay, and the signal to noise ratio as you can see which are listed above each of the bars which represents a satellite and you've got the key for the signal to noise ratio just underneath there on both the devices. Now the figures in terms of uh, the signal to noise ratios is basically the higher the better. The higher the figure the better the signal which means there's less noise. Obviously the, the lower the figure the crappier the signal and the more noise there is. So if we look at the S3, it can see 13 satellites and it's using 10, 11 of those and it's accurate to 36 feet. Whereas the S2 is now showing 15 feet. So it's got a better, it's saying the S2 is more accurate there. So if we have a look at the satellite position view on both of these. And you can see the S2 is showing, again you can see 7 satellites but only using 5 of those. And first fixed time there, it was 17 seconds, so it took 17 seconds to lock on to the first satellite. Whereas the S3 is showing 15 satellites in view and only using 10, and the first fixed time was 5 seconds. So it's pretty quick there was the S3, um, but the S2 is still struggling behind it. And if we just want to see how quickly these uh, devices respond, um, a little bit strange here because the north on the S3 is pointing in that direction whereas the S2 you can see is pointing in that direction so I don't know which one to trust there I may actually use the S3 because it's locked onto more satellites so uh, it may be more accurate this is my working of it so I'll trust the S3 more so than the S2 I'm gonna say but here we go if we move that along you can see how quickly it reacts to the use to the turning of the phone because it's locked onto more satellites. It can verify its position and orientation faster. So if we try the S2, that's definitely taking its time. But now, if you look, the north is virtually the same direction between the two, so I don't know why. They were differing, but if we put those back into shot there. Still, the north is different, so... I don't know if that's the, the way the, the sensors are orientated on the, on the phones themselves. 
but they looked more accurate in landscape view. If we have a look uh, at the location view, which is the map itself, and you can see it gives you a world world map there. Obviously, we're on the, on the sunny side because it's still daylight here in the UK, nearly eight uh, eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, now these figures at, at the top will be blurred out because they give our longitude and latitude mm. settings uh, and that gives our location away but what I will say to you is they are the degrees are exactly the same the, the S3 is lower by I'd say only about 5 or 10 figures so they're, they're not too far apart at all there and obviously the red dot on uh, both those maps just symbolizing where the GPS location is of the device so if we now have a look at the speed speed view on both of these which says zero and both says heading and degrees at the top uh, S2 showing 82 degrees 81 now whereas the S3 showing 35 degrees if we have a look at the altitude now both of these uh, obviously the S2 showing 310 feet and the S3 showing 340 feet. So a little bit of a difference there, about 30 odd feet. So, and if we have a look, quick look at the final one being the speed settings. Um, now I'm a little bit worried that says three, four. Those figures are changing there for speed in miles per hour because we're not actually moving. We're standing in the same location, and we're not moving. We're not travelling anywhere. There's no speed going on here at all, unless uh, the GPS uh, within the phone. Uh, has noticed a speed variation between the satellite in the sky and uh, on Earth, uh, but I highly doubt that, and it's going to be uh, that huge. But that's still moving along as if it's giving us as if we're moving, but we're not. But the S3 hasn't moved at all. So, again, as the S3 is locked onto more satellite signals, I'm going to trust its uh, verification, verification of those figures, even. So, we'll also have a look at the, the time view on both of these which is this one in the bottom right now uh, it gives you the universal time coordinated along the top on both those which is exactly the the same for the time being 658 and the date being the 18th of June 2012 the local time on both of those is exactly the same uh, again just 758 here in the UK the seconds time is correct the same on both as well and uh, the, the sunrise and su sunset times are again exactly correct so although the S2 is locked onto a lot less uh, satellites it's still producing some um, manageable figures there now if we go back you can see the accuracy as it's had a little bit of time to lock onto the GPS signal on the S2 has gone up to 90 feet whereas the S3 it's gone down to 18 feet and the use of satellite is 11 out of possible 14 and S2 is using 4 out of possible 7 if I just go back to satellite position view you can see that the S3 initially had a lock on time of 5 seconds whereas the S2 had a lock on time of 17 seconds now what I quickly want to do if you go back to the lock uh, main view switch off GPS I just want to see how quickly so that's now done so it's now dead all the figures are showing a zero uh, on both of these um, so times all zero all the time zeros there no satellites in view there the north is still in a different direction but okay, all the times are zeroed so we'll go back to the GPS so if we turn that back on select the GPS satellites to only use that and none of the Wi-Fi go back in and let's have a look both of them are still searching S3 is locked on now now the S2 is so after being using GPS and turning it off and back on it locks on a lot faster the, if we have a look at the results of this the S2 has got 7 satellites in view only using 5 it's doing pretty good there uh, it's more than what it had before with accuracy of 60 feet um, S3 has got 13 satellites in view using 12 so that's really good and accuracy of 36 feet signal to noise ratios are generally pretty good on the S3 there's quite a few high ones the S2 uh, signal to noise ratios are generally okay but not on, not great 
Um, so if you have a look at uh, satellite position view here, and you can see again 18 view using only 5, uh, 15 in view only using 13 uh, for the S3. Uh, first fixed time on the S2 is being 7 seconds. First fixed time on the S3 is 5 seconds. So pretty quick again uh, for the. I'm more surprised at the S2 to be honest because I would have thought it would have taken longer to lock on. Um, that's not a huge difference there. So again, the S3 is more responsive, uh, which is obviously you'd expect that because it's locked onto more satellites and it can verify the information across those satellites as well. Whereas the S2 generally has less access to those satellites because it's not locked onto as many. So if you have a look at the speed on both those. I'm grateful, or well, I was grateful that was showing a zero, but um, I don't know what's going on with that. But this one showing a uh, speed of zero, which is okay. If you have a look at the heading, it's only 38 degrees on this one compared to the 82 or 81 of the S2. If you look at the feet, uh, altitude 337 feet compared to the 357 of the S3. Again, as I say, I'm, I trust the knowledge of the. S3 more because it's locked onto more satellites. If we have a look at uh, the location view there, again, see uh, the figures that are returning back at the top are virtually the same, with the exception of the S3's uh, uh, longitude settings being ever so slightly lower. As I say, only a difference of maybe uh, 10 figures there, but again, almost identical. If we have a look at the time, um, the universal time coordinated on the S2 compared with the S3 is exactly the same and as you saw both those changed exactly the same with the space of maybe the S1, sorry the S2 maybe a second behind the S3 but there's not much in it at all there. The times is exactly correct, the dates correct, sunset sunrise times uh, are correct as well so it's doing pretty well. The only thing to worry about is the speed that keeps on changing at the bottom there but if we go back to uh, the what's it gone? Uh, satellite position view here, just giving us the the times. Um, the S2 seven seconds to lock onto the satellite there, and the S3 only five seconds, so a little bit faster. So that's been a quick look at the GPS test between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S3. As I said, I'm more surprised that the S2 has managed to keep up with the S3, considering it's a year old. Uh, but the S3, when it locks on, it is really quick, as you saw in the video there. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, please hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything, and it's free. And you can check out what I'm doing in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see you next time.